presidential election. So the presidential candidates, we have four of them, Toastmaster Hali, Toastmaster Hedden, Toastmaster Magrela, and Toastmaster Yosef. So each of them will have the chance to uh, say something about them, themselves or what their vision is, whatever uh, they want to tell us. But in other words, they will try to set themselves so that we'll give them our votes. Uh, we'll do that uh, within uh, two to three minutes. So, uh, Mr. Timer, please give them yellow at two minutes and red at three minutes. So, first, you will have an opening <coughs> statement of about four minutes. And then, if you'd like to ask questions uh, to one another, you'll have another uh, two minutes, one for asking question and one minute if you are asking a question, then to respond to that. And then, uh, we'll move to uh, members and guests to throw some questions at them. So I would like to call all the, uh, the candidates to come to the first uh, two chairs on each side. <coughs> Some of these are first the, taking the first steps of establishing this club, getting it chartered, and then we have the hosting of the first public speaking competition in Addis. However, this is a Toastmasters club, and as a Toastmasters club, we are responsible for the development of our members' communication, public speaking, and leadership skills. And in this regard, our achievements are very low. In a club with members, with active members needing 40, we only have two competent communicators and one competent leader. And our club suffers from delayed membership <coughs> renewals, and also our club suffers from uh, continuous absence of st uh, chartering members and old members. And as your president, these are the first challenges I'll overcome. First, I'm going to increase the number of competent communicators in our club from 2 to 10. And I'm going to do this by creating a special session in which we will have more speeches. Speeches ranging from 7 to 8 instead of having 3 speeches. And I'm planning on having these sessions maybe at least once a month. This will accelerate our achievement in increasing the number of competent communicators we have. And the other thing I'm going to do is coordinate the office of the vice president membership and the treasurer in order to create a strict schedule at which members will pay their uh, membership renewals. And also I'm going to uh, work with the vice president membership to invite back all the members. In addition to this, I'm going to create a project in which we will establish the first content communication manual in Amharic. The previous board of directors were able to have a session in Amharic at least once in two months. And I believe we need to take this to the next level and create the Amharic version of the content communication manual. And to do that, I will first I will create a project team to come up with the project proposal. Then I'm going to mobilize all the resources we have within our club and other Toastmaster clubs to achieve this. And the other project I have in mind is to establish the first district in East Africa. There is an idea floating around, and I intend to make that a reality. Fellow Toastmasters, 
distinguished guests. I don't want you to vote for me because I made all these promises. I want you to vote for me because you know I will achieve these promises. I want you to vote for me because you are certain that once I set my mind on doing something, I'll achieve it. So fellow Toastmasters, give me the privilege of leading you and I won't let you down. Mr. assignments on each session except this one because I came late. But apart from that I made sure that it is a session that was having an experience. But I don't want that to be an experience of my own but I want it to be an experience of the many more. I, being a very good marketer and a network person, I can assure you that I would deliver you whatever you ask. 
bringing more members, creating as many clubs as possible. That would be a step that I would be able to take along with the other board members that I'm going to have. The track records that have been set by the previous POD team is marvelous. I'm trying to match it and as much as possible to exceed it. And I'm standing in front of you to ask for your vote so that I can be your next president and I can be the person who facilitates, not lead, the person who facilitates the growth of the club so that we can move forward and achieve the dreams that we have. and distinguished guests. Uh, last week, I was not, like I told you, I was in Awasa. And I knew that being present here, being in front of you, telling you what I want from, for this club would mean so much in getting your votes. I couldn't come. I was 200 kilometers away. So what I did was, in the morning, I woke up early in the morning, and I took one of my friend's phones, and I recorded myself. Hi, fellow Toastmasters. I can't be with you today, but I want to be your president. I want this and this and this and this. And then I uploaded it on the internet and I sent Jay and my brothers and said, please download this. And as soon as they mentioned my name, please put this video on top. I'm telling you this because there are many ways to do great stuff. You need to be creative. I'm not going to talk about my creativity or my leadership skills because well, I think I take at least one role every session. I've been your VP for the last year. I sometimes also talk at the end of the sessions and say, yes, we have to compete and so on. So maybe I've been talking too much. So the first thing I did before coming here and wanting to be president is to think why I should not be president. Because I'm going to be a dad and I have a company and well, we've got three candidates that are very, very good. And I did post that on each of your posts saying, these people, they're saying right. And then I thought to myself, yes, but I still want to be president because I still haven't shown you what we could be. You know, I sometimes come at the last minute and tell people, you have to do this and so on and so on. And I push them to the limits because I know some of you people, you can do this. And I have so much to learn from you as well. This, this year we have done so many mistakes, but I hope we also had some fun. Next year, I can't promise 10 CCs, I can't promise five. But I do know that we need four, four new CCs, we need two more CLs, and we need to pay Toastmaster fees on time, and we need to submit the names on time, and this would roughly constitute seven out of ten goals set to us by Toastmaster International. This year we can be a distinguished club, next year we can be a select distinguished club. That is the goal set to us by Toastmaster International. For the rest, the sessions with the VPE, the, the VPM, and the rest, we have so many things to do, so many things to create. But one thing I do promise, it would be fun, it would be entertaining. So vote right, vote for me. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it could be done, 
but then you'd have to be giving the same chance to um, chance to the same people over and over again. So you have to keep motivating also the new members to take uh, responsibility. So do you think that's realistic? Uh, or, and my second question is to Toastmaster Yosef. Uh, do you think it's possible? Do you think you can manage being a dad and being a president at the same time? I know you haven't tried it and it's new to me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So see, it's a new thing. So do you think you will have the time uh, with your you know, wife? That's my question. Okay. You'd have uh, your time to respond to it. Now just let's, let's, let's stick to the question. So let's go to Toastmaster Yosef. What is the question? Thank you. Well, Toastmaster would like to have a question, so I'll ask you a question. What's more important, but please, by far, please, respond to the question. What's more important, uh, creating 10 clubs or just one or two? What's more important, have 20 cc's or have the person at its fifth speech be an eloquent speaker? Do you think that a person that hasn't made two speeches or three speeches should not be on the podium evaluating a person that has been doing eight and nine. These are just simple questions to get to. Okay, thank you. I'm doing a kind of a crisscross, so just nice to have that. Just go ahead and ask your question. Okay, I will uh, direct my question to Postmaster Harry. You've said that you're going to create special sessions every month, so that uh, we're going to have more uh, CCs and CS. When you do that, how is it possible that you're going to nurture the growing members, those who are going to be quick to apply? And Toastmaster, you said, soon to be a dad. <laughs> Love this point. I love it. What would be your plan? You've, you've seen the club as a BPE, but I haven't seen the comments that you've made on how you're going to make the club go. How would you do that? Now we'll hear uh, what they respond to these questions, but just uh, remember, I remember to ask the questions. Oh, sorry. <laughs> But I was going to give you the, the opportunity to do You already asked it and I was going for you. Okay, go ahead and ask. Thank you for the opportunity. <laughs> uh, well, my question is very simple. What new packages are you going to bring? Or what new ideas are you going to bring to this club in your presidency? Thank you. Very brief and direct. So, Let's go with the, the same order and start with this whole semester ahead. Uh, you can answer it yes. from where you are. Uh, I'll answer first to answer Joseph's question. Uh, members with two speeches, evaluating members with fifth, uh, doing their fifth speeches. I think it's possible that they they do it, like member, like someone with uh, fewer speeches may, but it's a bit tricky because they have to, you know, read, go through the manual first and understand what it requires. But most of the time, like if a member comes here and they're giving the responsibility at the spot, they might not evaluate it properly. So it depends on the situation. Regarding the having ten clubs instead of two, I believe that it's better to have two that are functioning very well instead of 10 that might, you know, close up after some time. Uh, also, depending <coughs> on the 20 CCLs, you know, I, I think it, it's good if you can manage it, but you will ignore, yeah, yeah exactly, but you will ignore the new members uh, that are planning. I think being a president 
involves a lot committing your BOD members to do their tasks appropriately. And guess what? As VP, I know the VP will have more tasks to do than the president. So I hope whomever is going to be elected to VP will be my main supporter. Other than that, don't worry about it. The next one, how can I make this club grow? And also, what new packages can I offer? One thing I want to do is, uh, maybe we're having the So You Think You Can Speak speech contest, and you know that we can make some money out of it. Maybe if we can manage the profit made from that and put it in our account, maybe we can actually pay all dues and time, regardless of some members being late. Maybe one thing I can do to actually respect achieving 7 out of 10 goals of Toastmaster International would be to achieve that, to be concentrated and get through those things. And well, I have two questions. The first is what is more important, having two functioning clubs rather than eight. I would agree with having two functioning clubs rather than as many clubs as possible. But at the end of the day, we have to grow. Growing is our task. And if we have to do that, this is a time that we should have to start. It's not about having as many members, but rather having quality members. Quality members that could be used as ambassadors. Those are the ambassadors that are going to craft the clubs that we're actively envisioning in other places. Uh, coming to the second question, what new packages could I bring to the club? As I said, I am a marketer and that is one of the things that I have to do as a task. It is about creating connections, it's about creating networks. The more networks that we have, the more connections that we have, we're going to be especially financially free. We're going to have the support of the corporate industries and through that support we're going to create as many colorful events as possible. Thank you, Toastmaster Fusun. I actually have uh, three uh, questions specific to me. Is it realistic to have 10 CCs in uh, six months? Uh, well, I don't see any reason why it's not realistic. It might seem a bit ambitious but every Great lead were at one time or another very ambitious. Um, well, landing on the moon was very ambitious for the 19th century or early 20th century people, but we've been there, so I don't think it's uh, ambitious and it is possible if we, if we put our minds to it. And how is it that Angry or are the new beauty going to nurture the newcomers? The first and most uh, important reason why I'm planning for houses is that everybody gets the chance to speak because having three speeches per session is not always enough. And when we have met as many members as we do, all of them have to wait maybe in line to give a speech. So having this session will accelerate the rate at which everybody speaks. And <laughs> I have too many questions. <laughs> Have subcommittees in party. 
each office. That would be a good way to get everybody involved. That means if we have seven offices and if each of the seven offices have two or three members, we will have 14 to 21 members being uh, involved in the leadership of the club. Uh, except uh, with the exception of the first BOD, I, I think this is one of the areas we had. And how would you address this if you if you are elected? How how do you prepare others to, to take over? The, I mean, subcommittees is a way of again preparing next leaders of this club, not just for your term, but you have to mentor them for the next uh, BOD. So. Uh, what, what's your say on this one? This is my question. If anybody has changed your idea, idea and want to ask a question, then you have the, the chance now. All right. This time I will not be strict on the time. I'll try to stick to one minute. So, Mr. Timer, just give them the red card, but uh, we will not stop you at one minute. So, uh, try to finish that in, uh, within one minute addressing these questions. Uh, let me start with Thank you. You can clap. <laughs> I appreciate the bonus for you. Thank you. Um, two, main, two main questions. Uh, what's the problem of having more CCs? I think one of the questions is when you go towards the 8th, 9th, and 10th speech, it actually demands lots of practice. You know, you need to actually make it. It's not that somebody made 10 speeches that they become a CC, at least we know it. The Toastmaster International achieves that. But one thing we can do is allow those people that are in the 8th speech, 7th speech, and you know, high level speech to at least make a speech once a month. The VPG can actually push to make those people that are so near to the end to make one speech once, once a month. You have a variety of choices. Those same people will not be making the same speeches over and over again. But since you have lots of people that are so near to the end, maybe it's time for us just you know, to give them a big push. Other thing I want to remind you is the CL track. One of the questions that was asked by Toastmaster Presume is, why not have subcommittees? And during the last year, I've seen that it's really impractical to actually have three, three members under each BOE because it's impractical. Some of the BODs, like the finance, they just need to keep the books. But maybe one solution I can offer is maybe coupling them. You know, each BOD member should have somebody that could be there in case that they're not. Or they can just call somebody and say, today I won't be here, this is my assignment, so can you take over for me? Maybe we can follow through on that. But last but not least, I also posted this on, on, on Facebook. We do have subcommittees to organize other stuff, and we do push them towards a certain goal. So those members are also involved, and once a year at least, every member is involved taking one task or the other. Regarding the subcommittee, I think um, 
you know, pushing the BOD members to uh, go around and recruit their subcommittees would be one. And uh, I, I've mentioned this, maybe uh, having a prize to the BOD member that recruited somebody and has someone, uh, you know, able to take over at the end of the year uh, would be uh, an idea. It's also part of my uh, package, the new package I'm uh, requesting for. So I think having prizes to also well-functioning BOD offices would, would be uh, one way of getting it. Now I move to Toastmaster Hadi. To the question of Toastmaster Makenda, uh, I agree with you. Uh, of course, there is always the issue of drive uh, and morale when it comes to delivering the speech. So uh, it's really hard to go through all the uh, concrete, uh, you know, uh, plan how I'm going to do this within three minutes, so I'm going to highlight uh, some of it. I'm planning, actually, I'm not going to do this by myself, obviously. Uh, we have different offices, and uh, the office that will be responsible for this is the Office of BPO uh, Education, Vice President of Education. So I'm going to make sure that the Vice President of Education uh, creates a one to three mentor to mentee uh, ratio in the club, uh, whereby which every member is, will be responsible for at least three members in the club to motivate and to uh, make sure that they follow up and they work on their assignments and they deliver their speeches no matter what. And I think this might help because one person, it will be difficult for him or her to motivate and enlighten all the members. So this is what I plan uh, to achieve this 10 CCs within six months. And the other reason I want to have 10 CCs within six months is the, the number of our members is nearing 40. And if we, if we manage to get them registered, then our claim needs to divide into two, into two according to the Toastmaster International Regulation. And if we are going to do that, we need to have at least 10 CCs to have equal distribution of mentors in both clubs. This is uh, what I envisioned or what I thought would happen in the next three years, and we have to prepare in advance for that. And uh, the issue of subcommittees uh, is, uh, well, I think it was when you were president uh, that we had subcommittees, and uh, am I correct? Yes, and I was uh, vice president of uh, public relations then, and I, I know how beneficial it is to have the subcommittees. One, it, is, it will ease the load of work on you, and also it will give the chance for the subcommittees to learn something and to take over the office next time. So I think this is simple. It is mere motivation that will get the job done. And I think everybody will be uh, delighted to join the subcommittees. And I will personally make sure that each office will have at least two members as a subcommittee. Thank you.
Regarding subcommittees, yes, I believe that there has to be subcommittees. Subcommittees is not for the sake of having them, but rather for the sake of letting people experience the group work and the teamwork that we actually engage in the CA plan. One of the ways that we're going to have as many uh, content leaders is not by just simply giving them assignments, but rather by making them involved in various activities. So one of the things that I would do is in major of the areas, there would be committees. Probably when it comes to the finance and uh, uh, the other uh, sergeant arms, maybe there might not be uh, a committee issue, but rather for uh, uh, the public relation for education, there would definitely be some. give them your warmest applause as they go back to their chairs. my hands for that, but uh, because of time reasons, there's one only paper. So after every speeches, I think everybody should nominate at once and count them at the end. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. Since some of the members, as you see, might not be here, but we called every one of them today. And out of 22 members, 20 have withdrawn or sent proxies. So some people will be given extra number of votes because they have been given extra votes from their friends. And uh, just to make clear, I do not take a single vote. <laughs> okay. uh, for the remaining uh, offices, we only have one uh, nominee for each. Uh, and so, uh, for the four of them, we have the, the candidates here, but the other two 